coming and uh, joining us on this very festive occasion. And we do have a lot to celebrate when it comes to cannabis right now. Uh, we certainly uh, have a changing environment uh, and it goes to show just by the simple fact that the store of the pot leaf across the street from here now, people. happening here in Canada, despite our federal government, but because despite what you see now happening in Victoria, and there are apparently 20 stores now selling cannabis in Victoria, uh, uh, it's still not legal yet. And a lot of people wonder, you know, why and, and how that could be. You know, how can we be here smoking pot year after year with big signs and banners and pot leaves everywhere? And uh, the fact is that we have convinced in some sense, the local police department and local authorities, you know, city hall and stuff, can simply not worth their time. And we haven't convinced them to legalize it yet. It's really fair. Yeah. And so Kurt suggested, and I believe the court heard the uh, argument that cannabis should be taken under the Control Tax and Subsidy Act entirely and put into the Natural Health Products Act and treat it like a herb just like any, uh, every other plant on the market. Because uh, that's the regulation that cannabis should be under. Again, so everyone over the age of 18 or 19 in the work uh, can buy these products legally. And so, uh, this is, if you want to read more about what's happening with the federal government, the dispensaries, the law, grab all of our newspapers, the Cannabis Digest. Uh, we started publishing this after Owen was arrested in 2009. And uh, we, it's become Canada's largest. Uh, cannabis newspaper, very proud of it. It gets uh, used all around the country in different dispensaries. We've got a bunch of your food, but so other people be able to buy, so feel free to uh, grab those. And uh, if you're feeling rich today, uh, I brought my textbooks. I've read the book on the history of cannabis. Uh, the ball you want is $20. We've got uh, some t-shirts and other stuff over there. Uh, please uh, help support us as we do our work. Uh, and speaking of that, the next event, the next time that Bology gets together with you guys is July 1st, Cannabis Day. We hotbox the footsteps of the Victoria Courthouse. <laughs> we actually get curtains. There's big stairs off Planter Street. We put curtains on either side of the stairs. And uh, we hotbox the front steps. And we also do uh, also play an all-star game of Reach for the Block. The world's only cannabis game show, something that's unique to Victoria that I developed a long time ago. So uh, we're uh, giving out uh, a bunch of prizes to probably people in the crowd as well. But uh, certainly uh, we're going to be playing the game show and uh, doing up again uh, July the 1st, whatever the hell that is. But uh, if you want to find out more about the different anthology events, uh, check out the cannabis digest.ca or newspaper. Uh, or at Bondi.ca or send me on Facebook or figure it out some other way. But uh, certainly the next big event after that is huge. This September, I believe September 2nd, is the 20th anniversary of Nephology 101. And uh, we're going to be doing an annual march. We leave here. It's a Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. We leave here and uh, we march to the parliament building and close a bunch of joints at the latch to so get a picture taken. And uh, we haven't done the march for 20 years, but this September will mark 20 years that I've moved to Victoria to educate people about this fantastic curve, this life-saving curve. I haven't even gotten into hemp yet, but there's just so many aspects of cannabis that are truly incredible. That, but uh, I firmly believe that we will be changing this planet for the better as we legalize this nation. Another one to spark up. Seven, six, cheers, Bob. Four.